Welcome back to The Exchange, everybody. We're sitting just points away from 5,000 on the S&P 500. Our next guest says the rally still has legs and will broaden out from here. Joining us now with where he's buying is Steve Auth, Chief Investment Officer of Equities at Federated Hermes. Steve, welcome back. Good to have you with us. You have a price target on the S&P 500 of 5,200. That's about 200 points from here. Not a lot of gain for the rest of the year. No. Are, you tempted to, are you tempted to up it based on what's happened so far in 2024? He yeah, attempted to, Tyler. You know, we set that target, you know, way back in the third quarter last year and, um, you know, did get a lot of it early on, uh, even in the fourth quarter of this year. So I've been getting a lot of questions about that. And what I've been telling our investor base is, I think a little bit longer term here. Um, certainly the market's a little overheated short term. And yeah, I don't know. We, we could end higher than 5,200. I, I kind of like to look out three years. Um, there's a lot of talk about the big run we've had. We only just uh, three weeks ago crossed over the old high of the S&P. So from our perspective, the bull market has just started. We've got earnings. You know, we didn't come through an environment here where the economy is decelerating a little bit, but it's in a kind of not too hot, not too cold environment for the Fed. The Fed is pivoting. Earnings just started to resume growth after a one-year earnings recession. We've got, you know, earnings going up to 300 a share on the S&P by uh, 2026, uh, 2025, we're at 275. That yeah, may sound like a lot, but the nominal GDP of the U.S., which is what um, S&P 500 companies eat, is going to be up about 40% off 2019 um, by 2025. So I think the earnings numbers that we're using are pretty conservative. So you've got a pretty good setup for stocks. you got earnings resuming growth, the Fed pivoting to lower rates. We're not where the market is. You know, we've got like three cuts right. this year, but still a uh, cuts ahead of us. And um, it's only the leading stocks that have broken the market through the old highs. So we're thinking it's a time for the market to broaden out. Um, and in, in our way of thinking, Tyler, to get back to sort of your original question, there's lots of stocks that can go up more than 5%, which is what we've got left against our 5,200 mm -hmm. for this year. Uh, and the overall markets still just sort of crawl along, which is kind of how we see it. So we're looking for laggards. Um, we're tilted towards value names in particular. We like the regional banks here. They've got another whack on the head over this very idiosyncratic situation.